Hi everyone, my name is Dan and this important training video is brought to you by the Estate and Elder Planning Center. So what are the Ohio Medicaid eligibility guidelines? Well here's what you'll learn in today's video. What is medical eligibility? What is income eligibility? What is asset eligibility? The three categories of assets and then ultimately where to go for help. So what's the big myth? One big myth is that you have to be poor to be eligible. Another myth is you have to go broke to be eligible. The fact remains that unless you totally comprehend how this government assistance plan works, that you may needlessly lose your home and drain your retirement savings. On the other hand, when you learn the Ohio Medicaid eligibility rules and apply those rules to your circumstances, you will most likely qualify for this long-term care benefit. So let's review the important eligibility rules to Medicaid so you know exactly where you stand. First of all, anyone wanting to apply for Medicaid has to initially meet the following conditions. You have to be 65 or older, you have to be disabled, or you have to be blind. If you do meet at least one of the above conditions, then you pass the first test. However, passing the next step is what trips most people up. Remember, that Medicaid is a federal government program administered at the state level. As crazy as it sounds, each state has the power to interpret the federal rules and then create state rules of their own. So let's cover the basics at the federal level. So how much income can you have and still qualify? Well, the first consideration is based on your marital status. In other words, how much income a person applying for Medicaid can have has to be determined and let's look at the single person case first. The current maximum amount of monthly income for a single person is approximately $2,022 per month. If you earn more than that, then you are not qualified. But don't worry, there are special strategies in Ohio that you can implement and still be eligible to receive Medicaid. Unfortunately, most families are not aware of these strategies and end up paying for long-term care out of pocket. Now, married couples are offered much more favorable terms. In a nutshell, the well spouse at home is entitled to a minimum monthly income between $1,750 and $2,739. This number is based on a Medicaid term called the Minimum Monthly Maintenance Needs Allowance. So how much assets can you have and still qualify? Well, now that we've covered the income rules, let's focus our attention to the asset rules for Ohio Medicaid eligibility. The first category is excluded assets. The most common assets in this category are $1,500 in cash, the home, one car, prepaid burial and funeral, and a small amount of cash value inside a life insurance policy. Second category is known as unavailable assets. These are assets that are not legally accessible to you, like real estate that cannot be sold or an interest in someone else's estate. The final category is known as countable assets. These are assets that Medicaid will ask you to spend down on long-term care like cash, CDs, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. So let's take a look at a single person case versus a married couple case. In a single person case, the maximum amount of assets you can have in Ohio is $1,500. In a marital case, the rules are much more favorable where the well spouse at home is entitled to 50% of all assets, but only up to a maximum of 109560 For example, if all assets are totaled and the amount is $100,000, then the well spouse living at home will be entitled to $50,000. Would you like to learn how to qualify for Ohio Medicaid? Then send for our free report called Medicaid Secrets Revealed. Get your free report now by going to helpprotectyourfamily.com or giving us a call at 216-642-8283. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.